How's it going guys? Nathan Mavis DIY Garage and we are doing another BMW E39 video. Some of you guys might hate these videos, some of you guys may love these videos. Depends on what kind of car you actually have, I guess. Uh, we're going to talk about something very important today. The most important thing or one of the most important things about these cars are ensuring that the electric fan works. So today I'm going to show you what to look for and how to properly diagnose quickly and easily what the problem with your fan is. Okay, so your electric fan, this is your auxiliary fan. You can see it right here in the front. This fan has three different functions. It has the first function, when you turn the AC on, it'll actually turn the fan on. If you turn your AC compressor button on, the fan is not coming on, something's wrong. The second and third function are for overheating mode. Overheating mode, it runs off a sensor, which is on the lower radiator hose. It could vary. Older cars will have it in the side of the radiator. Um, that little sensor controls the fan on that part of it. So it has two different, basically, steps to it. Uh, your AC function and your overheating function. Now, your overheating function has two different speeds uh, on the overheat function. So the first speed is low, the second is high, obviously. And those are dictated by this little guy right here. It's a little relay box. Um, you can unplug that relay box. You can turn your AC button on, the fan will still come on. That does not control the AC function. Now, this fan does not come on with the AC on. We didn't let it run long enough to see if it come on when it, if it overheated. My guess is it will. So we either have, at this point, a problem with the sensor, which is not likely. We have a problem with this box, which if we had a problem with that, it would still come on with the fan. Uh, we could have a problem with this plug. The plug for it is right there. The plug looks good. It pulls it apart, it looks great. Uh, there are some secret fuses I'm going to show you guys how to access. So you got to be kind of double jointed to access these fuses. I don't know why in the world BMW put these fuses where they put them. But they're actually a behind the glove box. And they're huge, just three huge fuses. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off by pulling this black panel off right there. And you should be able to grab it, if I could do one handed. It should slide out towards you. There shouldn't be any screws in it. Usually there's not. I don't know if there's any. Well, let's just see. Let's go ahead and just slip it out real quick. If I could do it one-handed, Will. There we go. One way to get it out. You see all the foam's all rotten on it. It's kind of nasty. A little vacuum and back that up for them. And then what we're gonna do, let me turn on the light. Look up in here, and there is a three fuse fuse box right there. And it's pointed up so you can't get to it. We're gonna have to push it, was it up or down? I think it's up. We're gonna have to push it up, and we're gonna have to pop it out, and we're gonna be able to flip it over and pull it down. So we couldn't get it out, but I can't reach my hand up in there and pull the fuses out. So this is the very first one, it's a big 40. This one is not blown, you can see right there. Second one is right here. This is a 50. This particular one is not blown either. So let's go ahead and get the third one out. There's three of them total. I'll take that back, I forgot the other ones only have two fuses. So both the fuses are good. Uh, so at this point in time, let's go ahead and do a little more inspecting around the hood. And let's see if possibly that uh, black box, that relay to possibly be shorted out and causing the whole thing not to work. The final solution is that the actual fan itself is bad. Now you're going to test the fan itself by unplugging the plug up here and you can jump power right to it. We have another one of these little relays. It's easier right now just to snap it on there first and see if that unshorts it or makes it come on. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, looks like it's going to be one of those days. We switched the little relay box. It's another known good one we had here. The fan still does not come on the AC. So, that's not good. Um, usually it's not the switch. 
we want to make sure the switch is plugged in good. It is. I think we're going to do at this point, we'll get our little test box out here and we'll see if we can't jump her on that fan. Actually, our test box isn't strong enough. We'll have to use the battery charger. And we'll have to jump her to that little plug in right there. And if the fan comes on, then it's good. If it does not, then he needs a new fan. Okay, so it's currently two days later. Uh, the owner just left here. He went to the junkyard, got two electric fans, and they are both bad. And you guys will say, well, it's got to be something with the car. Well, it's actually not because we have, when we turn the AC on, we got 14 volts going to the plug. Uh, the two fans he had, we bypassed the resistor pack on one just to see and it fired right up. So both of the fans, the res resistor pack is bad. The one fan was the AutoZone fan that had this little guy on it. This was also bad. So he is returning that. Hopefully he returned that with that missing. And then here's the original one that we took off. And it's burned up. This is not the type that has the resistors external. Everything's inside the motor. They have a motor here from, what was it from? From the Z3, I think but it's a little bit different and it won't work. And it keeps getting better. The brand new thermostat's leaking out from around the oil ring where the sensor plugs in. So we're gonna change that back out. Um, I just sent him back home, the owner back home. I said, man, you have to find a fan. We need to sort that out. He did bring me a brand new fan shroud, a brand new coolant bottle. We're gonna put all that back in. So we'll have it all done except for the front bumper. And if you guys didn't know, you pretty much have to take the front bumper off to put the, the fan on or change the electric fan. It's pretty easy. You saw in a few videos ago, I did a deal on it. It's only two, two big bolts, takes the bumper off. And then where it goes on to the inner fender wells, it has uh, three little bolts that holds it on there. And you plug your plug lights and that's it. So basically this thing is done for right now. I'm going to pick up all the bolts that hold the fan on. We're going to put them in a little baggie. Put him in the car. Uh, tomorrow we're leaving to go on a two-hour trip to pick up a, another X5. So that'll be tomorrow's video. Uh, we're gonna buy it. Crazy, crazy, crazy cheap. We're gonna get it for three hundred dollars for an O2 X5 with the 4.4. So I expect it to be rougher than what he's leading on. For 300 bucks, you gotta kind of expect something terrible, then we don't want to fix it, then I guess we won't worry about it. We'll part it out. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.